Hi, my name is Mohammed, and today I'm going to discuss about a topic is called pie chart. So pie chart is a type of graph in which a circle divided into sector that each represent a proportion of the whole. So this is called a pie chart. So it means to represent your data in form of a circle. Okay, divide into different sectors to make it whole representation. So this is called a pie chart. So let me take an example. Uh, for example, this is a, a this is a uh, pie chart. Okay, so this is the center point, and what I'm doing. I am making this is a family which is called Adams family. Adams family uh, budget of budget of seven thousand dollar. Okay, so it means they are spending on a different sectors. Okay, which is like entertainment, food stuff, housing. Okay, so let me do it. So food they are spending on 34%. Twenty seven percent they are spending on housing, on miscellaneous, they are spending only nine percent for entertainment. They are spending 13% for entertainment and for clothing, they are spending 11% and saving is only for 6%, yeah. So, so this is a pie chart which represent a data okay in a different sector which represents what percentage of the food they are spending on so which is 34% on food housing they are spending 27% 6 percent saving 11% clothing, 13% entertainment, and 9% on miscellaneous items. So we need to work out, okay? They are spending $7,000, okay? So we need to work out how much they are spending on food, okay? So it's a simple way as my previous video, how to work out about percentage. But before going to solve this problem, you need to understand one thing which is very important to solve for the pie chart, okay? This is a circular, is a full rotation. If you remember about the my video for angles, the full rotations angle is 360 degree, okay? So the full rotation for the clock, which is 360 degree. So now we need to work out, okay? So first question is asking about uh, that, how much money he spent on clothing and entertainment, okay? So the first question, how much money does he spend on clothing and entertainment
So how much the money he is spending on clothing and entertainment? As we know about, this is clothing. Clothing is 11%. Okay. So clothing is 11%. And entertainment is spending 13%. So, entertainment is spending 13%. So, it means the total, okay, the total spending, clothing and entertainment, which is 24%. So, very easy. What you do? Simply, the how much, how much, which is $7,000, okay, is spending, okay. So, the total is, seven thousand dollar okay times by 24 percent so 24 percent means 24 divided by 100 so this zero cancel with this zero this zero cancel with this zero so it means it means 70 by 2 24 so 24 times 70 which is one six eight and you need to add zero so it means adam's family is spending on entertainment and clothing all together one thousand six hundred and eighty dollar and now move the second question is asking How much he is saving? Okay, so as we know about saving, what percentage of saving? Okay, is he saved six percent the same way? What you do simply seven thousand times by six percent. Six percent means six over hundred. Yeah. So 6% saving, 20, 20 cancel. So it means 7 times 6 is 42. And then 0. So it means he is saving how many dollar? Okay. He is saving $420 for a month. So this is the family spending for the 7,000. He saved out of 7,400. $20 which is 6% as per the pie chart and clothing and entertainment is all together 24% he is spending $1680 okay so now C part how much money his family food expenses so we know that about the food expenses the food expenses is 34% okay so 34% means what you do simply 7000 times 34 percent 34 over 100 so two zero cancel with these two zero okay so it means you need to times by 70 times by 34 so seven times four is eight and three two so it means it means it means on a food item they are spending two thousand three hundred and eighty dollar so this is the part C and the last part is asking Adam allotted one third expense of housing to miscellaneous expense is a statement is true or not Okay, what it says one third of expenses of housing. Okay, so housing he is spending 
27%. So housing, housing spending 27%. Okay. It says housing is what? One third of housing expenses. Okay. Equal to miscellaneous expenses. So let me check the one third. Okay. So 27 one third which is 3 times 1, 3 times 9 is 27. So it means the 9% is coming for one third of housing expenses. So are they true or false? Look at, go for the miscellaneous expenses. So mis miscellaneous expenses matching the 9% for the one third of the housing. So it means this statement is true. So one third of housing spending on miscellaneous expenses. So this is the example for the pie chart. So Adam's family is spending, okay, food, housing, clothing, entertainment, miscellaneous and saving, okay. So simply what we did, okay, whatever the total amount they are going to spend for a month, okay, seven thousands and times by the percentage giving according to the sectors to get the answer for the each sector so very simple very easy okay if you know the percentage now i'm going to move for the exam questions for 2015 first and let me go for quickly So, the question is says, 2000 CSSE 2015 and question number is, question number is 12, okay? It says Lily is planning an activity weekend with her youth club. She has asked 60 members of the club what they would prefer to do. Okay, so let me write the question quickly. So Lily is planning an activity Weekend with her with her youth club. She has asked. 60 members of club what they would prefer to do. So this is the question. So, examiner giving you a pie chart. So, this is the center point, easy to draw here. And I'm saying this is.
So the first one is R3, 25% members prefer to do R3, yeah? Twenty percent they are doing basketball, yeah? Twenty percent basketball. Fifteen percent Fifteen percent they are doing swimming. And the remaining one, forty percent, yeah. The remaining are forty percent they are doing skating. So so this is the pie chart, okay? So 25% archery, 20% basketball, 40% skating, and 15% swimming. So all together has to be 100, yeah? So the all sector, if you add all sector, which is 40 plus 20, which is 60, 60 plus 25 plus 15, which is 40, so all together is 100% represent this is by chart yeah so now move on the question the question a part asking true or false they are asking the statement either true or false okay the question the sector The sector R3 R3 is created is created a right angle. So the first question, okay, the archery is created a right angle. So how many percent of the archery? There are 25% of archery. Okay. So are they making right angle? How? We need to find out either they are making a right angle or not. Okay. We know the right angle is for 90 degrees. So it means 90 degree is a right angle. As per my previous example, I explained you the full rotations of this circle, which is equal to 360 degree. Right? So now, if we look at this 360 degree, okay, so we can work out 25% for the 100 is quarter. Okay, so it means archery is a activity of 25% of archery, so 25 times 1 and 100% is 4. So it means archery is a one quarter of the whole activities, for the all activities, so one quarter. And if we find what one quarter times the full rotation which is 360 degree okay so simple 360 half is a straight angle which is 180 degree and if we divide 180 by 2 get the 90 degree so it means it means 
4 times 9 is 36 and 0. So it means the archery is created a right angle. So your answer will be true. So the archery created a right angle. So it means your answer is answer is true because the archery contributing 25 percent so it means as we know the 25 percent of 360 is 90 degrees so it means they are making 90 degree angle so the first answer is true and now move to the second part the second part is asking the same find same true or false five more members five more members wanted to do archery than basketball wanted wanted to do archery than basketball so five more members wanted to do archery than basketball either this statement is true or false okay very simple okay we need to find out how many members are there there are 60 members okay so we need to find out the number of archery okay and the number of basketball and then we need to find five more members wanted to do archery than basketball so it means we know that archery first archery are doing okay 90 percent which is 25 percent so there are 60 members okay so 25 percent means quarter okay quarter of 60 very simple 30 and half 30 is 15 so the archery how many members are doing archery archery doing only 15 members and the basketball okay they say 20 percent so 60 time basketball 60 times 20 divide by 100 yeah okay so this zero cancel with this zero this zero cancel with this zero it means six times two is 12 members yeah so how many members are doing activity for the basketball there are 12 but the archery doing only 15 now look see the statement five more member wanted to do archery than basketball okay no because basketball doing only 12 only three members are doing more okay so it means it means this statement is false this statement is false because only three members more doing for archery not five of them okay so the difference between 15 and 12 is 3 and now we are going to move the part C okay and the part C is asking the same true and false two third of member wanted to do either skating or archery okay so two third members wanted to do either skating or archery so the last one is two third of the 
members wanted to do either either archery or skating very simple okay so two third of members two third of member wanted to do either archery or skating so it means we need to find two third of member first okay so as we know that there are 60 members okay and the two third members means times by two divide by three so it means two third means three times two is six so it means 40 members which are okay 40 members so they are asking two third of the member wanted to do either archery or skating look at here okay we already work out okay archery doing 15 members basketball doing as for previous answer 12 members okay and skating okay so 40 percent of 60 okay very simple okay how we work out first 60 times 40 over 100 so it means this zero cancel this zero this zero cancel this zero so it means 24 members are doing skating these are the 24 members okay so it means remaining is 15 percent they are doing swimming so easy way you need to add this one 15 plus 12 is 27 plus 24 so which is 40 uh, 51 so it means the nine members are doing swimming so now the question is that two third of the member wanted to do either archery or skating so look at there the two third members are 40 okay but the archery is maximum 15 and the skating is 24 so the but the two four two third is 40 members so no one is doing archery or skating so it means it means this statement is false this statement is false if skating members is 40 okay not 40 percent 40 members so the answer will be true but the only 24 members are doing so it means two third members are coming 40 members and archery members are 15 and skating is only 24 that's why this statement is false so this is the question this is the question for CSSE 2015 if you like by this video uh, please leave your comment and subscribe my video see you in the next video thanks bye bye